welcome into Holiday HQ. I felt when we heard that music that we needed to start a dance or something. Fa la 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 <laughs> la, indeed. I'm Katrina Zish here with the glorious Terry Kahn. And so we, good to be with I you. Know. Shopping for gifts. What's and more fun than that? These shows are so fun. Today, what we're doing are white elephant gifts. So we've been talking a lot tonight about white elephant parties. I think w both of us have not done one since we were no, a little kid. Exactly. And now we're going, wait, our host party needs to be <laughs> exactly. a white elephant Exactly, wait, there party. are rules, there's com competition. Competition, and we, we all love, love a little friendly competition and fun gifts. And yes. that's what we have for you this next hour. So stay right there and shop along with us. So they're all gonna be fun and practical. And here's a little hint for the first one we're gonna start off with. So, mm, if you love a root beer float, and if you love to have fun and learn with your family, we've got a root beer brewing home kit. Isn't that fun? It, I like the idea of this because it's a way to kind of camouflage science and chemistry yeah. in something sweet and delicious. I love that. <laughs> that would have totally worked on me. Oh my gosh, that would have worked on me too. Yeah. So this is so fun. You're getting two packets of flavor crystals, two packets of root beer mix, a packet of no rinse cleaner, five gram packet of yeast. Yeah, yeast, that says years, but that's, <laughs> that would be yeast. Uh, four reusable one liter bottles, four bottle caps, gaskets, labels, plastic funnel, and a root beer guide, which I would definitely need looking at all of that. Key. Again, this is truly a science experiment, but at the end, you will be able to produce two full gallons of root beer. And again, label them however you'd like right here. Maybe put, the, put it in a big pitcher and have a pizza party. Oh, that's I think a it would be a lot, of, a lot of fun. But this is from Mr. Root Beer. So obviously Mr. Root Beer knows how, how root to make beer root should beer. be made. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, and then, I mean, a lot of people are brewing their own beer at home, but this <laughs> we'll is... Call it, we'll call this the unofficial starter kit. Yeah. Or not. It's <laughs> the up to you if you choose to call it It's the that, gateway. But. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but this is more for, for the kids. This is family kids. friendly, yes. And it really is... It's science because you have to talk about how the yeast works and all of that stuff. I didn't even know there was yeast in root yeah, beer. Yeah, the, fer the fermentation. Yeah. Um, and that's why brewing this from start to finish, there's f there are five steps, but it takes about a week if you're actually really going to do this. So this isn't something that's like, you know, five to 15 minutes right. of fun and, and then, then you're it's done. over. That's true, it teaches patience as well, <laughs> which we could all use a little bit of. It's a virtue, Terry. Uh, it is, really. <laughs> so imagine opening this up at a white elephant party would you keep this one Ooh. would you move on to the next i don't know i mean it depends i mean i think this is perfect for a family in fact i was thinking yeah. about if you need to get a gift for an entire family that's a hard thing to do yeah something that everybody's gonna love from like the little ones all the way up this would be perfect for that so I whether it is a, really a white point. elephant party or you're just looking to gift i think that would be great i think projects like this are really fun I mean, it's not just for kids, also for adults, because yeah. there's just some kind of fun satisfaction in, in making something and then actually being able to ingest it, which is yeah. exactly what we're doing right here. And it's good. It is good. We, d we make love Coke beer. floats out of it, or root beer floats out of it, um, which I have not had in like Me neither. forever. So we that have a little whipped cream. I think we also need like a big scoop of vanilla ice cream. Yeah, also. that would make it really delicious. But I think just, I mean, again, have a pizza party, yep. just do something and then kind of extend the gift. I love gifts that kind of keep on giving. Well, me too. And the thing is, I get depressed at the, after Christmas is over. Do you Absolutely. ever? Because Are all you of this, me? you know, the build excitement, up. the buildup, it's all over. This gives you something to look forward to because you're like, oh, good, we get to make something. And then you get to look forward to actually having it yeah. a week later. No, I think that's a lot of fun. And the fact that it's not a toy that you kind of j then get sick of and put away. It's something right. that keeps you engaged every step of the way. Um, and I know that there are um, refill kits available. So it's not like once and done, right. you're done. This is something that you can continue to enjoy once you have the basic kit and everything that you need to actually brew your own root beer comes with it. Thank you, Mr. Root Beer. Yes, Mr. Root Beer, you're so cool. I wonder if he knows Dr. Pepper. <laughs> They're cousins. <laughs> <laughs> They're related. They're related, yeah. Um, so, but you are getting two sets. So you can make two full gallons, um, 
two separate times before you would even need to get a refill. Exactly. So it, again, it, enjoy it. I think this is even if you're having um, you know a kid's birthday party or, or something fun that you're doing as a group, this is one of those things that keeps everybody engaged and everybody has a step in the process. And and it's a lot of fun. You could even start with the beginning of the process and have everybody back. And even thinking neighborhood kids or even cousins or something, have everyone back in a week then. Right. And to kind oh, of celebrate that's a good idea. the unveiling of yeah. the home brewed root well, beer. Because, I mean, everything is so, like, instant gratification right now. To really have something to look forward to, and that takes a little while, mm -hmm. uh, you're t teaching them kind of like that good things come to those who wait. Exactly. So I love that idea. Well, it's almost like you get to have Christmas morning again because you're waiting for something exciting to happen. Yeah. So like you said, that after Christmas kind of maybe let down is a little bit softer, thanks to Mr. Rupier. And sweeter. And sweeter. Cheers. Oh, cheers to Mr. Root Beer and cheers to you, Terry. Cheers Con. to you. I love this. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, white elephant gift. Trade or save? Um, I think I'm keeping this one right now. Wow, okay. Well, if you go to QVC.com and you search gift guide, you will come up with so many great ideas. You can search gifts for him, gifts for her, gifts for kids, gifts for teens, and our amazing buyers have done so much work. In fact, I think they're probably already now working on uh, 2020 Christmas because they spend all year long looking at what the perfect gifts are for each age. Even you can search by personality. So um, we elves. really, they're busy elves and they did all the work for you. So all you gotta do is a little search and you'll come up with things you never would have even thought of like coming up right now. I am so excited about <gasps> this vibe. Me Terry too. and I, we both are. Um, I don't know, I mean, I had, I had an Atari set Me right too. when it came out yep. and I thought it was the coolest thing in Ever. the world. I know. And that I, you could I, play a video game at your house. Oh my God. That was, was revolutionary crazy. back when we were I, in the 80s, 80s kids. Who can Sorry. say, or, or at least we've read about it. Yeah. Wink, wink. <laughs> um, but again, so this is the Atari Flashback Blast Legends and Bandai Namco. Now, if you're really kind of a, a, a retro game nerd, and I mean that in the best possible way, you'll know that those are kind of the originators of all of these games that are nostalgic, but also still so much fun to play. Uh, again, I will say like Pac-Man. So what you're getting here is you're getting um, the actual, it all, all the fabulousness comes in the, all the games are loaded right here on a flash drive that you simply plug in to your television. But of course, you're getting the controller. Now, no joystick here, but easy to control buttons. And you can just pass this back and forth if you wanna play two player. Uh, you're also getting uh, that, again, this controller is wireless, unlike the original Atari, so you yes. couldn't go very far. No big boxes here. You're getting a fun little Space Invaders-esque or a little, a little like digital looking um, old little old school keychain, which is also fun. And you get, this is a set of two. So one of these comes with 12 games. Right. One comes with eight games. So 20 all games in, in all. this tiny little flash drive. But then voila, look what happens when you plug it in to your television. It's like you have your very own arcade in your home and you're flashing back just a few decades. Look at What should this. we play? So we've got Pac-Man, Dig Dug, I like that was Dig fun. Dug. I was never good at Dig Dug though. Galaga, Galaga. Sky Kid, I don't know, remember I that one, Mappy. Good. I didn't know Mappy. Galaxian, Galaxian. and then the Tower of Druaga. Oh, I and know that. And Xevious. Yeah, I, see, I, play, I played the cute ones. Yeah, me too, we're going straight for Pac-Man. Yeah, obviously. Here we go, so. <laughs> You can do two player or one player. I, I mean, this is just so fun. Like, it, it I just get a brings, thrill. I get a feeling I'm in my gut right of now. like literally being, you know, I don't know, how old was I? Well, I wasn't born yet, but no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like probably four or five when these came out. Mm -hmm. um, so let's start. But I also love though, you can play them again and again and again, and you don't have to have like a fistful of quarters or, or right. you know, like, kind of ferret away dollar bills in hopes of, of getting quarters. You and you can show your kids, you know, what <laughs> it was like. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. Ah! Do you remember that one's name? Uh, Blinky Whoa. or something. One of them yeah. is Blinky. Blinky. The red one is, oh, the red one is dangerous. Here, you wanna okay. go? Yeah, well, I haven't used this It's still yet. my turn, but I'm gonna let her I guess go. She's Just really a good friend, okay. This, you know, I do, I will say, 
I have to practice on this controller because I am, again, very old school and used to the classic joystick. So my skills. Yeah, it's a little. My skills are not, there's a Ooh. learning curve here. Ooh, you're getting away. Nice. I like you almost look like you accelerate until you just don't. <gasps> uh, <laughs> what were those? <laughs> I guess it doesn't have the sound. I don't know. Well, we I probably mean, don't have it on. Yeah, we Maybe. probably don't have the sound on. It's got to have the sound. I mean, you have well, to have. Waka, 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 waka. Yeah. <laughs> You're good at that. See, you said you couldn't sing. <laughs> that's, that's, that's So you I are got. getting two different uh, thumb drives. These are also called right. doggles. I just learned that tonight. Flash drive. We were we were kind of we're saying okay a dongle equals flash drive equals thumb drive. See we're learning. So this is what you plug right into the TV. You're just gonna open it up. It even has a little cap right there so it doesn't get dusty. Plug that right into the HDMI of your TV. Pretty much any TV has them, and then all the games are loaded into here. So you don't have to worry about having all the games and losing them and ones you know, in the machine and, and you have the case and you can't find it. I remember those days. Oh, absolutely. It's all right there. So you're going to get two of them. One has the 12 games, which is the one that I think mm -hmm. that we're doing right here. Yeah. Um, and then the other one has, I think, eight, eight games. games. Um, and those are, oh, we don't have it written down. Well, we'll get you a list of those I wasn't as, as familiar with those, but what yeah. I love is there are some other games that you can kind of get accustomed to. Right. I think there's Burger Time, which I do oh, remember. Oh, yeah, Burger, burger time. time. I remember Burger Time. You build time. that whole burger. Was there Donkey Kong on any of these? No. Oh, no That's, Donkey Kong. That was my favorite, I think, other than Mrs. Pac-Man. Mrs. Pac-Man What was, was your was favorite? Fa Mrs. Pac-Man. Yeah. Well, I also really loved Q-Bert. Q-Bert Q -Bert was cute. I, I, I'm and still Space Invaders. We what had one. Oh, I think Space that was Invaders. a different. Space Invaders is on the other one. Sega. No, I know it's on the other. Oh, it is. Drive. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does have Space Invader. See. Mm-hmm. That was what I mean. The very, very early. Oh yeah, those are early games. And Pac-Man was And then was your like kids the can make fun of you because, like, you know. Well, well, right now with all of the games like, that actually look like movies that you right. are engaged in, yeah. it's like you're seriously eating. But dots. you know what? Yes, and it's fun, and I could do it for hours and hours. Okay, trade. Would you trade your Mr. Root beer? Would you steal? Okay. If you had the Mr. Root Beer and I had the Pac-Man, what would you do? Ooh, good question. I think I might steal. <gasps> she <laughs> stole it. <laughs> I'm Damn sorry. It. It's just that I love that feeling, that nostalgia, that fun. Can I? Could I steal Eat. back from you later? I, I know. Think so. White elephant rules. Can you steal something back if you like it? I wish we could have people call in and tell. I us. know, right? Well, head on over to our Facebook pages, uh, Terry Con QVC and Katrina Zish QVC, and give us your white elephant rules and tell us a little bit about how you like to play the game and this fun, fun gifting experience. Oh, we're totally doing this this year. I'm yeah, we so are. excited. Yeah, we are. And usually there's a, there's a price limit, maybe? I don't know. I don't even know. I think it's whatever you want. Yeah. It, it is really, because we've been talking about it in the studio all night. Like, do you do these parties? And yeah. everybody has their own, their own way of rules. doing it. And that's what makes it fun. But I like that these gifts, like, they're, they're all useful gifts, but they're also fun, unique, and kind of quirky. Right. Like this one. Like this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, pizza, I would say pizza is my favorite food group. Me too. Um, if I could only have one food ever in the world, it would be pizza. Always. Yeah. Always. Um, and so you always need a pizza cutter, but what better to, than having a pizza cutter with a happy little monkey on it? Because he's cute. Pizza always make. I mean, who... Pizza is like the, I think, instant happy maker. Totally. So if you have a pizza cutter that is also instant happy maker, well, that's a lot of happiness going Look around. Look how cute Isn't he's he really riding. Cute? I'm gonna he's riding the pizza gutter. He re he's really cute. And his, and his legs move. I'm, it's hard. I'm cutting not pizza on a board. But uh, just so you know, his legs do pedal. Oh, my gosh. So cute. So he's pedaling <sighs> each little piece. That's why we call him Fred Pizza Peddler. Get it? Pizza cutter. How cute is this little guy? His I mean, that's just really Fred. Fun. Fred, pizza guy. This is really cute. <laughs> um... Steel. What would you do with this one? Well, I'm going to ask you now because you keep asking. Because you already have a gift, so it's your turn. So I have the, now I took the Atari. You took the Atari. Oh, 
But we still, well, we don't, we're going to pretend, can we pretend, let's pretend for our game that you, we can steal back. Okay. But only, let's, you can only steal back once. How's that? Oh, that's good. See, make it up yeah. our own rules. Make it's it fun. up as you go. I would steal your Atari. Okay. I love Fred. No offense, Fred. Yeah, but sorry, that Pac Man. Cover your ears. That Pac Man, no quarters needed. Again and again and again and again and again. I'm one. done. Yeah. But there is always that gift that everybody fights for. Yeah. Too. Well, that, and that's hearing. what makes it fun. And then there's always the one that everybody laughs at. That might be this one. But sorry, Fred. Again. But, oh, I feel but bad. He pedals. He's hurting? Fred the pizza peddler. He actually I know. pedals. And I also like it's not like some little gimmicky gag gift that just kind of sits. Oh, well, it falls over. But sometimes, actually, you know, just sits sits in a drawer and doesn't do anything. This guy will actually get a lot of action in your kitchen. That's true. Well, especially and we mine, do because have I eat pizza, pizza all the time. I know. And especially if you make your own at home, um, this becomes part of that memory and part of that experience in your house. You're, everybody, all your kids will be like, remember that little Fred pizza peddler that we had? That was so fun. Yeah, I think it's good. Make right. memories, make everyone smile with Fred pizza peddler, <laughs> pizza cutter. Okay, also, this is all about discovering new things that you never even knew we had here, here at QVC. So if you hop on over to QVC.com, I think you're actually here right now, uh, just type in new arrivals and you will find all sorts of brand new exciting things for yourself to give as gifts um, for little gifts for you, for everyone in the family and well beyond, not just during the holidays, but we always have something new and fun and exciting at QVC. Okay. Have you been invited to an ugly Christmas sweater party not yet, yet this year? Not yet. Not yet. Have you? Nope. It's a little early. Well, it's, it's, but we did go to yeah. one last year at we Mary did. Nelson's house. We miss Mary Nelson. We miss you, Mary Nelson. But boy, oh boy, it was fun. Oh, that was really fun. And people get really creative. So this looks like you got creative, but all you had to do was click purchase <laughs> and get it in the mail and put it on. You know what I like to do? I want to take an Elfie. Oh my goodness. It's time. It's time to take an Elfie. You know that song? <laughs> This is a selfie song. It was the chain oh, yeah. smokers way before they became oh, really popular. Oh, yeah. It's time, time to, to take, take a selfie. selfie. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I'm all full of sound effects. Let today. me take a selfie. Yes. That's, yeah. That's it. But now you're taking an Elfie. And These this is our, our, our little, uh, our gentleman Elfie. Uh, not meaning it's for gentlemen, but if you really want to go full on classic with the little boy Elf, this is the one for you. If you love the movie Elf, Oh my really gosh, fun. that's one of my favorites. This is cute, actually. I think this is fun. It is I, really cute. I like cute. quote unquote ugly sweaters are actually kind of cute. Right. Instead of actually well, ugly. Well, and that's the thing. It's like, is it supposed to be? Because sometimes they give prizes for that too. Like, right. if, is it really, like, literally ugly? Hideously ugly or Or is funny. it kind of like cute? Right, cute, ugly Christmas sweater. And what I like, and I about, think this one falls into that. I, no, I think it does too. And it's also, it's actually also really soft. So it's it's one of oh, those yeah. things that actually Ooh, as you're wearing it at a it party, is. you'll you'll feel cozy and comfy. Um, but I also think, you know, as of course we're in the age of of selfies and beyond. So imagine all the selfies that could be taken at the party, but you are perfectly attired wearing your own hashtag that just simply says Elfie. Oh, that's you could true. Start, you could start a movement. It could be a break the internet moment, depending on how good the party is. Especially if everybody's wearing them. If everybody has the same shirt. Same, Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. It's an Elfie party. Yeah. I kind of like that. I like that too. Hmm. Hmm. We're now getting I'm together thinking. all these ideas of well, parties that we're going to do. And sure. also, I'm still, now I'm like, I don't, I'm trying to decide which gift I want to keep or Oops. steal. Yeah. Although it's kind of fun me. because Terry, it's only me and Terry, and we've got a whole bunch of gifts. So I right. guess, so that means we get to get multiple. Yeah, gifts. but you can only In steal this. once. You already stole. Okay, well we you just made up that rule. Each item you can only steal once. I thought. Well, if there's only <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> We're making it up as we go along. Well, these For have a great elephant. high crew neckline, so you could wear a turtleneck under it if you wanted to, or you don't have to. Um, Actually, that little elf reminds me of our elf on the shelf. Do you have an elf on the shelf? I don't. Okay, that might be kind of weird if you did because you don't have kids. <laughs> so I'm glad you said no. But I, I kind of, I always feel like I kind of, kind of maxed out in terms of my like my like adult age. I feel like I'm, I'm always a, a perennial six year old. Yeah. So anything. Well, that a then you might need like one. Mermaids, or, Hello Kitty. Oh, that's true. Everything. Barbies. They have girl elf on the shelves too. They do. Yeah. Maybe I need a little girl. But elf he looks like our. 
our Elf on the Shelf. <clears throat> so how long is the length? This one is 27 and a half to 30 inches on the regular length, plus length is 31 and a half to 34. It's made of 100% acrylic and it's machine wash line dry. So you can you, you can recycle it year after year. year. After you year. don't have to worry if you get uh, Christmas cookies on it. That's true. Or, or whatever, because you yeah. Or an adult beverage, because <laughs> that's what they serve at a lot of these uglies. That's parties. true. <laughs> so that one is our boy who looks like my elf, Your on, elf the on the shelf. And then here is the girl. And look, look at, at her. her. Little pointy ears. I wonder if they're like girlfriend boyfriend. I don't know. But she, she's actually taking. I was about to say, she's taking a selfie. Yeah. See, she knows a hand on the hip. See, she knows what she's doing. Look at those. She's even those, doing the lips. The, she's pursing like the them. pursed lips. Mm -hmm. She. I like those pointy ears. Are just really, really cute. Oh, and I like her very on-trend uh, sweater. She has a statement she has sleeve. Her, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she's totally on trend for an elf. Um, she kind of looks like both of us with her hair. We, yeah, we, we might just need the hair, that girl. Though. Yeah, yeah. Well, we puff sleeves. I have green eyes. But you have blue eyes. Blue eyes? Yeah, they're bluish, greenish, okay. grayish. All right. Well, so just to let you know, on the back of both of these, it's just red. Right. Um, just solid. We have them pinned to look a little bit extra shapely on our mannequins, but solid red on that back. Yeah. But again, so soft to the I know touch. they so really are soft. Picky or itchy. It well, and sometimes if you are looking for the way, the way you used to have to look for an ugly Christmas sweater was to go to like a Goodwill or something like that, or pull something out of your like own a total parents. Retro, yeah, yeah. That was the only way to do it before, and those were itchy and not fun and. Mm -hmm probably maybe even a little stinky. These yes, are actually soft and wearable. Mm -hmm. Machine and washable. Machine washable, so they're easy to use and they're comfortable. That's something to point out. You no, know? I, I think that's great. And it's, it's also, again, one of those things that's also fun. I think during the holiday season, there's so many moments where you think, I want to be festive. So even if you're not going to do a, an ugly sweater party, this is totally something you could just have fun with oh, throughout the season. Oh, just have fun with, yeah. I mean, I was at my daughter's school today for Halloween, um, not to date this, but, and you know, all the teachers were dressed up and I felt so not like the cool mom because I didn't have anything <laughs> Halloween on. So this is something that just around that time of year, you just want to feel festive, you want to feel cute. Yeah, so, I always do. Yeah, yeah. even if you're not going to the ugly Christmas sweater get party. Get in the spirit. Get in the spirit. Have your own party. Yeah. And take an Elfie. Right. And in your, take lots of Elfies. Take a selfie in your Elfie. Hashtag Elfie. Hashtag selfie. All right. Well, if you do go to QVC.com, and you're probably there now, you just type in Holiday HQ. You can find these fun um, shows that we're doing with different themes. We did, like, retro holidays and um, what else have we done? We did uh, personalities. We did oh, tech yeah. holidays. Tech holidays. So it's really fun way to see what we have here at QVC um, that you may not get to see on air. And that's what we're really having a lot of fun with. So go just type in Holiday HQ. It'll take you to items recently aired. You can watch a couple shows. Sit back, relax, and find something as fun as the Fred Polar Bear hand of admit. Terry, grin and bear it. <laughs> <laughs> and don't burn your paws. <laughs> so let's pause oh. a second and take a look <laughs> at a really good white elephant gift. These are really These cute. are, okay, these are the epitome of fun and practical, right? Yes, they're so cute. Because you don't burn your paws. Everybody needs oven mitts. And look. And they're cute. Sorry, I took They're so of it. cute. You get a left and a right. And then there's, really oh, that's nice. It has like good silicone on there. So look at that. Right, they actually, are, they're not just design, they're grippy and they, yeah, silicone details there. So that's how you know which one to put on because, I mean, I guess you could use this side too if you wanted to. But that but silicone's heat resistant. Yeah, that so silicone yeah. is the one you're gonna wanna be using because it's so heat resistant and it's thick there. So look at these, aren't they cute? And, if, and you get, to, again, you get, you get both mitts. You right. get the left and the right. And they're also just really fun to do this. <laughs> you could wear it with your Elfie sweater and have oh, a whole, a whole can, theme, a whole like polar experience. 
the elf, and also a little polar bear. Hi. This is really cute. I, I'm obsessed with puppets, and so there's something about <laughs> this that reminds me of a puppet. Hi. Hi. I also love these like the little the little claw uh, little claws, and they're also they just do this fun little like like this is just really fun. Look, ding, ding. I, I, I'm sound effects. <laughs> I'm I'm full of sound effects tonight. Have you ever watched The Price is Right? And they say, oh, mighty sound effects lady. Do I have at least one number right? And I feel like I'm mighty sound effects lady tonight. <laughs> you are, with the, really with the um, Pac-Man game. That was Ooh. fun. Here, do you want to try on both? Yes, please. How did you tell? How did you know? I could just tell. <laughs> oh, and they even have little loops, so you can hang them up, and they can be decorating at the same time when you're not using them. Oh, you are so cute. <laughs> or strange. I'll take a, a little bit. A little bit of both. <laughs> I'm only and friends with you a little bit of gone. cute and strange people. <laughs> I love my, my strange people. So, okay, are we this stealing is, this is so cute. these? I'm keeping my Pac-Man. You're keeping your Pac-Man? No, I thought I no, I have the Pac-Man. Oh yeah, that's right. I stole the Pac-Man. You stole the Pac-Man. Oh, how does this work? So what do I have now? I don't know. I uh, well, I guess I have the sweater. I might I steal you had, those. Oh, yeah. Because they're really cute. My girls would love these. And these are the kind of things that you only bring out, you put them away with the holiday decor. Yeah. And then you bring them out every year, you know? Because it's just that time of year. I mean, you can have them out all year round, but it makes them special if you put them away. It, no, it really does. Because then you're like, oh, the, the polar, polar bear. bear. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make cookies. And then you go like this, yay. Yeah. Okay, um, but if you head on over to QVC.com, because you're right here, I want you to do something fun. Search trending in that search bar. You're gonna find a whole bunch of really, really cool, hot and popular items. Also, uh, we've got top deals, new bestsellers, influencer picks, now that's exciting, oh. and so much more. So check out that trend shop also for our favorite monthly trends. This goes well beyond the holidays, from fashion to beauty and technology. Did I say fashion? Uh, so search <laughs> trending on QVC right now. It's fun, you'll find things that you never even knew we had here at QVC, and that's what we're doing on the Holiday HQ, not just helping you shop, but just introducing you to some unexpected things that you can find at QVC. Yeah, we've learned so much. I know. I had no idea that we had so many I mean, in all different categories mm -hmm. here. So it is really fun to just, you might get a little bit lost, but it'll be a fun. That's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing, mm -hmm. yeah. So how cute is this? I smell popcorn. Do you want some? Yes, please. Okay, nostalgia again. This is a big theme right now in terms of giving, gifting, mm. and um, just that all around feeling of remember when. And I, my parents did have an air popper that really looked pretty similar to this. So this is giving me that vibe. It's bringing back the memories of being little and just getting together and watching a movie. Um, maybe our root beer just brewed. Mm. And so it's time to get everybody together, have some pizza. We'll cut the pizza with our cute little Fred pizza peddler cutter. And then we'll watch And then we'll have a movie. some popcorn and watch a movie. Or play, no, we're gonna play Pac-Man. Oh, play Pac-Man, there okay. you go. It's this a whole is, retro a whole night. Mm -hmm. So this is the Nostalgia Elect Electrics Retro Series Mini Hot Air Popcorn Popper. So fresh, oil-free popcorn is what you're gonna get. I and up to eight cups. Toppings. Yeah, you can add toppings. You can get really creative and fun with toppings too. Um, if you wanna make them kind of gourmet. But I love the fact that you're starting out with just oil-free. So Absolutely. for those in your family who are, you know, watching calories or whatever, it's literally like almost it's negative very, calories. Yeah, very low calorie. <laughs> it takes more cups. calories to eat this popcorn. But I, I like I like that. It's you like know? popcorn and celery. Yeah. I really like that. Um, <laughs> also, this is not not large. This is about one foot high and then six inches by seven inches because it's a little um, narrower on the top than it is on the bottom. A simple, very easy, like two foot long cord, easy to plug in. And it's so cute, you can keep it on your countertop, but it's not so big that you, if you want to store it, you can also put it right. away. But eight cups of popcorn from this. Yeah, is a lot. Mm -hmm. And you just have to buy the kernels from the store. 
And that's a fun experience too, because when you see it coming out and popping, it just like gets you ready and gets everybody excited to watch a movie or just, you know. And I'm eating it, it's really good as you can see. Yeah. It is good, mm -hmm. yeah. Delicious. Delicious. Is, so when you would go to the movies, Terry, would you, would popcorn be your go-to or were you more of like a candy? More candy. I would too. I would get licorice. But then I would have whoever I was with get popcorn and I would probably eat Me too. Of popcorn. <laughs> and you know what I love to do? I just did this the other day. Ooh. We went to see a movie the other day, me and my girls. And we did have popcorn. And then my daughter had milk duds. Oh, so I was eating pop like a little bit of popcorn with like a little bit of milk dud like all together. So and I do that sometimes, uh, I haven't done this in years, but with M and M's. You put M&M's into the hot popcorn so they melt a little bit on the inside. That salty and then and sweet. The salty and sweet together is really good. I like. Well, I think that's why I like chocolate covered pretzels so much because you get yes. that saltiness and then that chocolate. We could put, but this one's all about the experience. I like. Uh, next time I'm going to put M&M's in my popcorn. Try it. It's really good. And you can do that with your Nostalgia Electrics Retro Series Mini Hot Air Popcorn Popper. Eight yes. cups, oil free, but again, add your own toppings if you like. How fun would this be like as you're opening gifts, popping some popcorn? So good. I kind of want to take that popcorn with me, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Don't do it. It's okay. guilt free. It's oil free. Good point. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking about my white elephant steel or score, whatever it is. But these are really cute. I love, I love slippers as a gift in general, but then when they're really, really fun cute yeah. slippers, I love them, especially for adults. Sometimes I see these cute novelty slippers, I'm like, oh, I want those! And then they're and like they're this kids, big. And they're kids, <laughs> and I'm like, oh. But these so are look so at cute. These. Are you Yeti to party? Yes. Do you know what this is from? What he's from? Um, frozen. No. It's a, no. It's the it's the it's the little clay claymation. Yes, the claymation um, Rudolph. Oh. I can't remember which one this one's from though. Santa he Claus. Was oh, sorry. The... Um. Mm -mm. Santa I, I, Claus is coming so to cute. town, maybe. And he's really sweet. Everybody's scared of him. Right, but he, he's just a highly misunderstood snowman. fellow. Yeah, he's an abominable snowman. Yeah. From ah. Rudolph. Yeah. Sound but he's effect. cute. Is it more he's sound really effects. Cute. Thank you. Um, and these are unisex, which is great. Extra, extra small, up through extra large. And they're from Deer Foam, so you know you're getting quality from one of the classic ultimate national brands in slippers. But again, really, really fun. Nice, easy to slide on. Really fun striped footbed here. You have a nice grip base oh, that's on good. the bottom. And we have other selections for you as well. Um, and we have them all listed right here on QVC.com. Oh, so even if so you're cute. not in the mood, if you're not Yeti to party, <laughs> look, you can, you can uh, rock around the Christmas tree. Uh, so many other options there. You can be a very smart reindeer. <laughs> Something at the North Pole. Straight out, Straight out oh. of the North Pole. I'm not going to sing that song. OK. Um, then we have little elf. elf. Let's, Let's get, get elfed up. Wow. These are a little edgy. They are for adults. Yes. <laughs> Those you are can really take, cute. Well, you can wear it with your elfie, hashtag elfie sweater. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And go, really go all out for the ugly Christmas sweater party. Yeah. These are fun. I'm thinking, again, whole family. Like if you do the everyone Christmas gets party, a different one. I mean the Christmas picture. Yeah, everyone gets a different one. And can you imagine if, or even if you do like a little boomerang and every you have everyone's feet like oh, doing fun little things. Oh, that would be so things. cute. Really cute. Okay, out of all the ones we just saw, which ones would you pick? I really like the. Um, they were like they were wreaths. They look like kind of decked out. Oh yeah, jelly wreaths. Yep. Those remind me of some Katy Perry shoes that I, we had. I, they actually. Did you think the about Christmas that? Tree? I really. Yeah. Did. Because I, I was like, I did. could wear those out if they had a proper heel. Yeah. <laughs> but I probably would. Too. Well, you can't, they don't have a heel, but no. you can wear them out because that bottom yeah. is so, you've got that nice grip you there. You can take the trash out in these. So, you can, you yeah. can even do I mean, a little listen, lap with the dog. You really probably shouldn't be going to the grocery store, but, but you that can would be go outside. Kind of fun to see. Could you imagine? You know, 
and um, yeah, it depends on the time of the day. If it's like one of those grocery stores that stays open really late. I was going to say, what, what time of day would you right. say would be okay? What well, really late, midnight? like okay. midnight. <laughs> midnight would be okay to wear these to the grocery store. I don't know. Christmas Eve. There you go. As a, like, not, not in May. Right. <laughs> But you could. Then you, you might do get whatever arrested. Whatever you want when you get They're these like, home. oh, there's the crazy lady in her <laughs> Yeti to party um, again for the second Yeti time. Yeti to this party week. shoes. Slippers. They're really, these are really cute though. They're really fun. I love novelty slippers, especially when they're for adults. And these, look at all that foam in there. Lots of cushioning too. Again, deer foams. Again, uh, cushy, cushy. Non grip, uh, non slip grip sole right there. Lots of different options. And on the Ooh, insides sex. are so cute too. Unisex, extra, extra small through extra large. Easy to size, but guess what else? If you get these home and for whatever reason they do not fit, they do not work, you have until the end of January 2020 to make returns during our holiday return, our extended holiday return here at QVC. It's so I easy love to shop. that. That's a crazy return policy. I know. But the thing is, we're getting you ready early. That's the whole point mm -hmm. of QVC really starting the gifting early. And so we have to do that. We have to make you confident right. that if something doesn't work or doesn't fit, you will be able to return it um, even if you bought it early. So you do have until the end of January. But the beauty of a white elephant party is you can trade to make sure you have the right size. Oh, that's true. <laughs> or that you have something that you definitely love. I like candles. I candles, really I think, are a pretty um, safe gift because everybody loves candles. To have that warm glow and that nice scent, the scents especially around this time this of one. year with this one. The you knew I was fur. going for balsam oh, fir. That's my favorite. Absolute Mine favorite. Too. Every Christmas. Mm, oh, that's so nice. Especially if you have a faux Christmas tree, to have a yes. candle that smells like, because you're not getting the smell of the actual tree. Oh. This is like, I'm ready to go. I'm Crisp ready for Christmas. needles, you open it up and it's like, it's Christmas. Instant yes. Christmas. Instant Christmas. This is a 34 ounce Papa jar candle and that just means uh, it's pretty big. It's the biggie. It's from a cheerful giver and it's really kind of has almost that kind of like country charm look to it with kind of the, the slightly frayed, uh, uh, gingham. Beautiful, yeah, thank you, gingham. I was like, grow grain, no. Gingham little ribbon right here. Really, a really pretty cute. little tag. It comes with this little tag here too. So you don't have to, you know, worry about and buying a gift tag. Yeah, right. There are 25 varieties, wow. 25 different scents to choose from. So we're not gonna list them, but you can just jump on over to your search bar and just search. Uh, and uh, again, you see the item number right there on your screen, but that you can take a little gander at all of the 25 different scents we offer. But um, it's double wicked also. So you're getting even oh, like more that. of that kind of burst of, of that scent. But what's lovely about these too. is they're not, it's not like that. Sometimes fragrance candles can be cloying or overwhelming. Yes. And these are not. No, they're very, it's, it's very crisp Like cotton. a fresh, yeah. Ooh, crisp cotton. Wow. Oh, that's perfect for a powder Oh, room. that smells so good. Yeah. That's like spa clean, kind of clean, fresh. like really clean, fresh. And then this one is caramelized Ooh. creme brulee. Ooh, my favorite dessert. Oh, that's nice. I usually don't like the, um, the like the gourmet. The, yeah, the, the, food, the food, the food smell. It just makes me want to eat. But I like that is. one. Sometimes like they can the smell kind of chemically or something, mm -hmm. or it's too much. So too much. what you were just talking about, it's neither of them have that just overwhelming kind of smell. <clears throat> and then they also come with the lid, with the logo, which is really and cool. really pretty too. And they say keepers of the light right there oh, on top. Oh, that's so sweet. Now the burn time here is approximately 155 hours. Wow. So so a gift that truly will go on and on and on. It's not just kind of a, uh, a, a one-time use thing or something that you kind of get and it's nice and you put it away. Every time that, that you burn this, 
a memory will come back. Yeah. From where you got it or who you were with or, or the the memory of the moment that you received the gift or, or whatever yeah. it may be. I think it's amazing how fragrance really does that. Oh I my gosh. That's why it's so are a special powerful. Gift. I think yeah. sometimes, even though I, I know I adore candles, but I think sometimes people give candles a bad rap to say, oh, it just, it's another candle. Bring, no, on, the bring on the candles. Bring on the candles. Yeah, me too. I, I totally burn them feel all that the time. Way. Even even when I was was home this afternoon, I had a few hours and I thought, ooh, I'm gonna light this yeah. candle. And I do it all the time. It's not just for guests. It's not just for special occasions. Right. It's one of those things that I think just makes you feel warm and cozy, uh, no matter when you light it. I actually sent out, <clears throat> excuse me, on my Facebook page. A question what's the strangest gift you've ever received and one of the responses was a halfway burnt candle <laughs> I'm like I said well I guess they thought you probably had you know 75 hours left of burn time that's you know so strange. <laughs> I, know. I wonder I wonder if that was a mistake I hope so hmm. but you know it's the thought that counts it is. The <laughs> well, well, I'm going to leave that one No, alone. I'm gonna, it's, yeah. just, it's just funny. I love. So think about that right now. What's the strangest gift you've ever received? <laughs> this is a great gift, though. A cheerful giver 34-ounce Papa Jar candle, 25 cents to choose from. Uh, really a gift, I think, that you, you can't go wrong with. And you can choose by, you know, who you're gifting to, what scent you think they would love or what scent you think reminds you of them. And they're not all holiday fragrances, too. Right. Um, okay. We've changed time to play. Dramatically. Tic tac toe. Okay. Your exes. Okay. I'm exes. Your okay. O's. I'm already. I'm already feeling like I'm sitting. Oh wait, hold on. At the beach. Yes. On the sand. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. Playing tic tac toe. Isn't that great? This is from right, Two's well, company. I have to do this. And they make. Oh darn it. And they make so many fun things. And this is a, an actual inflatable uh, and reversible. You can have the yellow side up or the pink side up. Um, oh, darn it, uh, I won. won. Woo! I was talking, that's no fair. No, yeah. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> concentrating. But, like, 10 reversible playing pieces, so you can play with the orange or the pink. And uh, it's 39 and a half inches square, it's, as a square, uh, two inches high, seven and a half inches diameter. Uh, that's for these, the little X's and O's. And um, it's PVC, so it's actually inflatable. I get. I'm just thinking. This. What if you could play? I wonder. You, you could, could play, play, play the in a pool. pool. Yes. Oh, we had the same idea. See, that would be really fun. That would be really fun. And you can even play. And you can toss, like, toss it, even see if you can get it in. Oh yeah, in that's true too. Okay, you can make you a whole other game in it of it. Let's okay, it you get to go this first. This is actually this time. really fun. I like tic tac toe. I do too. My husband and I. And were, the fun were, thing fun. is, like, little or kids can play it. Like yes. they they can understand it, you know. But don't play against Terry because she'll beat you. <laughs> My husband and I were just playing, we were on vacation recently and there was a tic-tac-toe board right in the center of the table and I just thought, this is so much this fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think often it comes to a draw. Yeah. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> yeah, draw. But it looks cute. This is, I love the idea of in a pool. In a, right, exactly, in a pool. And it's lightweight, so no, nothing's, no hard pieces. Um, inflatable, easy to blow up. And in worst case scenario, if it does get a little, a little hole in it, you get a patch kit as well. And That's this is, nice. this is small enough that you can actually blow it up. You don't need like a whole air <laughs> You're not gonna pass out to, <laughs> to inflate it. <clears throat> so it comes with the reversible game board. So you either do pink, or yellow, <laughs> and then 10 reversible playing pieces. So those reverse as well. You know what made me think of also the Brady Bunch? You could do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you could do a I'll family. Be, I'll be Bobby. No, who, who would be in this one? <laughs> who am I? You're Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. It's a story. Are you Peter? You yeah, oh, I'm Peter, yeah. I'll Peter. make, I'll make Bobby would be down here. I think the little ones are I'm at Right, I'm Cindy. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, we digress. But see, you can do so many fun things with this. Take a fun picture. Take, take an Elfie. Take an Elfie. As if you were the Brady Bunch. The fun never ends. No. Mm -hmm. That's what makes these gifts so great, though, because first. they're, okay, they're unexpected, they're fun, <clears throat> and they're practical. This one's practical because it will get everyone in your house 
chill. You know, you want people to come in and have a good time, have a party. So, okay, I won't start in the middle this time. <clears throat> so everybody just, <clears throat> excuse me, take your shoes off, get on the floor, <laughs> get relaxed, and play a game. Absolutely. I think it's actually, it is fun. And also, if you, if you really want to play and you can toss things across the room, nothing will break because they are soft PVC. Okay, this is really fun. Oh, I just won! And I didn't even mean to. Woo! Oh, no, yeah. I didn't. Never mind. I thought that... <laughs> <laughs> Almost, here. Oh! I'm... Oh, you would have okay, won. Okay, from she will, here, she it looked like they were... I know. It's okay, Terry. It can be deceiving. It's a very, very large board, 40 inch <laughs> square. It really is, though. It's fun. It is, yeah. And when you're done, you can just deflate it, and so easy to store, easy to travel with. And you can do all sorts of fun things, including um, Brady Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> the fun never keeps ends. Going. Okay. That's good, right? Are we stealing this one? I, I'm keeping my Pac-Man. Well, here's the deal. How do we do this? I don't know. I've lost track of our rules. <sighs> I guess too, we get too. multiple gifts. Yeah. Well, since it's just the two of us, you can't really have a white elephant party with two people. Well, you can't. That's what we've discovered. Right. Wait, there you go. That's <laughs> rule number one. Yeah. But Rule number one. But get a couple friends together yeah. or family, and you'll have a really good time. Two's company tic-tac-toe game. Inflatable, and you get a gift box. Now, if you search <coughs> gift guide in that handy-dandy search bar at qvc.com, guess what? Uh, if you don't know where to start on your list, we are so here to help. We've got ideas, we've got inspiration, and so much more. Uh, whether you want to shop gifts by recipient, personality, or category, again, just enter gift guide in your search bar on qvc.com. We guarantee you'll get ideas you never, ever would have thought of yourself. And if you've never shopped at QVC, Terry, don't you think you'll say, oh my gosh, I never knew that QVC had this. I just saw the Dyson hair air wrap, and wow. That's that major. That is major. Uh, but there are so many things that I would have never thought that we have here. So it is fun to kind of discover, too. Like an ugly sweater with a unicorn on it? I would have never known we had that No. Hair. But we do. We do. Uh, whether if maybe if the Elfie isn't your thing, uh, we have the the ugly Christmas sweater, unicorn candy, and stardust, which he seems to be yeah. snorting, Cough, coughing. <laughs> Either way, see the, this is where like the ugly sweater is like too ugly because I think of unicorns. I'm like they should be pretty. pretty. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so but again, but if you really if you're really going, you're really going the for ugly, it, then then you may win. Yeah, you might win with this one. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of everything, but it will be soft. Well, it's 60% cotton. So oh, this wow. one's like extra soft. Yeah, this one is extra soft. Yeah, actually really feel good, feels good to the touch. And on the back, what's actually really cute, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you if you don't mind. Um, I'm gonna rotate our, our little friend here, our gal. <laughs> oh, look, <laughs> his tail. Yeah, um, and with the cute Fair Isle pattern back here, and oh, so Stardust, there we go. Well, oh my goodness, I didn't notice that. He's had too that. many Christmas cookies or something. <laughs> he's I don't feeling know. a little, um, yeah. Anyway, you know so what you though, it's win. subtle, so the joke is there, but, but someone, has to, someone has to see it. Okay. Um, Little red hooves, 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. Are we machine um, washing? We are. We are machine washing, but we are line, line drying. drying. But the contrast, I love, I kind of like, I like the twist on the Fair Isle print. Yeah, That's I one do of too. my favorite holiday motifs. Yep. But then you add a. So a, what are you, what are we wearing this with, Miss Vogue? What are we wearing <laughs> this with? Well. Depends on the look you're going for. Exactly. If I, you're going for like really, really ugly, I would do like some bell-bottom corduroy pants. Full on 70s. Yeah. But see, I actually like bell-bottom corduroy pants. Well, but you want to get some, like, top go, to vin go to like a vintage store and get some like yeah. really, really bad ones. Maybe in like a rust color. So yes, they, that's they what I had in my hair. Rust so they clash. Or mustard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then but you if take you're the trying to make it, picture. Yeah. <laughs> in your tic-tac-toe board. But if you're trying to make it look cute, 
then what do you do? Make it cute. Then I would I would wear it with skinny jeans, over the knee, black suede boots with a heel. Yeah. I would wear a black turtleneck underneath it. Oh, cute. And I would wear like oversized like gold earrings, and then I would have to wear a Santa hat on top. Oh, yeah. And, and a red lip, a nice bold red, red lip, lip, like then, the one you're wearing. Hmm. And then I would also with, like, take advantage of, of our fun little stardust moment, and I would probably do some fun little glitter like around my eyes. Ooh, that's little fun. stars or something. Is he coughing? That I, I, maybe or he's, he's laughing. Singing. Oh, he's laughing. Okay. <laughs> he can be doing whatever you want. Yeah. The fun of an, an ugly fun. That's what art is all about. It's all up to you. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's right. Even though this is an ugly sweater. Yeah. But it might not be ugly to you. Yeah. Ugliness is in the eye of the beholder, too. And that's just not nice. <laughs> he looks like he had a really good time at the party, though. He is totally, like, partying. Wait, so, yeah, he's got a, he's smile. his eyes are smiling. So I don't, I think he is laughing or singing. Yeah, laughing or singing. Mm hmm What would the unicorn's name be? <laughs> Terry, I'm just laughing at this little um, fellow. What is his name? Well, the first name that comes to mind is Bart. Bart. But I think he needs more of a Christmassy name. I was going to call him Corny. Oh, that's good. Because <laughs> it embodies so many different things all in one. Yes. Um, corny. But, but I mean, unicorns, of course. Corny are the having... unicorn. Exactly. exactly. Okay, because he is literally kind of corny looking. Exactly. Unicorn. Uh huh. And then I was thinking there might be some candy corn in there, but that's, oh, a, that's different a different holiday. holiday. <laughs> that's close. Yeah. But no, but there there are uh, red, white, and green candy corn now because everybody oh, loves that's candy true. corn so much. I love there you candy go. corn. The triple threat. The triple threat. He did. His name is Corny from now on. Officially. Un well, unofficially. You can name him whatever you'd like. Um, but you really just might win at that ugly sweater party with Corny. So this is less of a, like, green and more of a teal kind of, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah exactly. You almost have, like, the teal and coral combo. Yeah. Yeah, it's Very unique. Like and the gray background here, cotton and acrylic yeah. and machine washable. Machine wash. And it's really soft. It really is. All, All right, right, Corny. Real we love quick you. is anywhere between 27 and a half to... 34. Oh, here, I'm definitely, I know we're both gonna I, feel I, this wait, one. Terry, I think this is the moment we may both have been waiting for. Do you know why? Because <laughs> you go, I'm only gonna have one glass. Oh, and is that, that, you mean, is that what, Katr are you in my head? That's what Katrina says. Well, in both of our heads, because, okay. some, and probably maybe yours too. You know when you go, I'm only gonna have one glass tonight. Well, in this glass, that means a whole bottle. <laughs> because it, a whole bottle fits in here, but you look like you're just kind of drinking <laughs> one glass. And it says, I need a huge glass of wine. And it kind of looks like I need a hug, dot, dot, oh, huge glass yeah. of wine. And this is from Big Mouth, which, which is, is such an apt name. Um, 750 milliliters, again, the exact same size, as Terry pointed out, <laughs> as a full bottle of wine, as we're seeing right here. Um, so about three and a half inch diameter, about 10 inches tall. You're going to hand wash this one because this is one of those special pieces for special yes. occasions, or uh, otherwise known as Wednesday. <laughs> or Saturday. Monday, <laughs> Tuesday. This is, you know what, this reminds me of a good idea. I think of, of so many friends of mine who have had kids and they're like, you know, mommy needs wine. Yeah. And so this is one of That's those like really on the back. fun, no, <laughs> one of those really fun gifts. Yeah. I think for a mom, even if it's not a white elephant party, it's, it's a gag gift sort of, but actually it's not. Yeah. Well, because again, it's, it's fun and practical at the same time. But also, you know what, it, it works also for fun, even if you're having a dinner party, use it kind of as a decanter. Right. You can pour the bottle of wine in and then use this to serve everybody as well. And then just, you just keep filling it up. Because it's just funny. Exactly. It's a lot of fun, too. And it's, it's like, actually I really well made. I only had one glass. Right. And it's really well made, yeah, actually, with kind of glass. the fun mock wine glass at the top. And it's a beautiful glass. And then, of course, has that fun, I need a hug, huge glass of wine. <laughs> I need a hug, huge glass of wine. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I, no, I think it's really fun. But this is a good one. Okay, so my question is, Terry, are where are we, I know our rules have kind of gone out the window because white elephant for two, as we've realized, is challenging. Um, 
where would where would this be like kind of maybe like on your on list? my if list. If you could pick your top three. So far, I'm thinking Pac-Man. Yeah. Popcorn oh. and this one. I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, the Atari, Pac-Man Atari. I'm thinking this one. And I'm also thinking... Oh, I really, the slippers were cute. I really like those slippers, yeah. yeah. But I also had a lot of fun with the polar bear mitts. Oh, yeah, those are Because I would just be like this all yeah. the time. Which is <laughs> strange. But again, you said you love me because I'm strange. I love her because I'm she's strange. strange. People are strange when you're a stranger. That's true. <laughs> that's what... That's when you're alone. Sort of, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't play that song while you're drinking from this, if you are. Yeah. Rules from Terry and Katrina. Well, we, you know, this is, I'm going to say it again, uh, shop, drink, and be merry with Katrina and Terry. That's right. Well, this should be our, like, mascot. Our theme. Yeah. yeah. It's our, yeah. I like this as our mascot. I do, too. I need a hug. Huge, Huge glass, glass of wine. wine. <laughs> okay, so this is also one of those gifts that I think you could also get multiples. Because I'm thinking again of a dinner party. And some people like the rosé, like I do in the summer. Some people love the red, then also the white. Yeah. And then if you even have them, even at a Christmas party, like kind of like on the bar. Oh, that would be that, cute. It's just one of those fun, festive things that maybe isn't so serious as right. the full bottle of wine or as, as a more decorative uh, decanter or carafe. That would be just one of those things that people would laugh at. And if you are having an ugly sweater party or if you are having any other kind of just like fun, a night with the girls, whatever it might be, this would be one of those things that would just make everyone smile. I love it. I think it's so cute. Big mouth. I mean, like, that's exactly what it is. Exactly what it is. So this really does hold, it looks smaller. I mean, look, yeah, it really next does. to it, a bottle. Yeah. It looks like all this would not fit in there, but it does. Mm -hmm. yeah, 750. The full 750 milliliters. I do like how it doubles as a decanter too, especially for red. I'm a big red wine lover, and so I, I like decanting it. Plus, it makes me feel fancy. <laughs> now, with the decanter, can you drink it right away? It's basically it depends on how old it is. See, so the whole oh. point is you want to let it breathe. So right. the older the wine, the longer you just want to let it open up and breathe because it's been corked for so long. Right. But some of the younger wines, you just pour, it looks really cute, and you can drink it right away. Yeah. In fact, you can drink it right out of this, hence the design. Right. Thank, thank you, Big Mouth. That's what it was made for. Big Mouth I mean, kind of gives us permission. Th that's exactly <laughs> right. To just say, I'm just going to have one glass of wine. Right. And that, you know what, tonight, one glass. I'm just going to have one glass of wine. And it's going to be in this. And actually, that's a whole bottle. I don't know if I'm actually telling you that that's a good idea. No, but you could. But you could. It is, it is, it is an option. That's what makes it funny. Well, exactly. That's where the humor comes in, and that's why it's such a good white elephant gift. Because I, I think what's fun about white elephant gift parties, as we're learning so much about them, Terry and I, yep. is that it's not about precious, maybe perfect gifts. It's quirky, fun, you know, like a little monkey who sits on a pizza cutter and pedals yeah. as he goes. Uh, you know, things that, again, could be perceived as a gag gift, but you're actually going to use them. Right. And that makes you smile every single time. That's the key, is getting something that it's going to make everybody laugh and smile and go, oh, that's really interesting, but they'll actually use as right. well. So usually it's one way or the other. All the gifts that we've had in this show are, are that. And also really unique. Yeah. Not, not things that I've seen anywhere else. Right. I mean, we had, we had the one more straightforward gift of the candle, which is also wonderful, too. Right. And I think it's also nice to have maybe, you know, one kind of, like, I would say, normal gift in the mix just for fun. Right. To see how people trade it. To see it. which one, yeah. To see, see how it tells it. you a lot about your personality, which one you steal, too. Oh, that's a good point. So. Well, we both stole Pac-Man, so I wonder what that says about our personalities. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to have our own I know. white elephant party. I know. You have a white elephant party. Talk to us on our Facebook Seriously. pages. Yeah. Tell us the, the one that was most popular. I really am curious I am too. to find out what is the most popular. Yeah. Terry Khan, Because in QVC. this one, yep, and, and Katrina's Katrina Ish, QVC. that's an SZ. Why, thank you. I thought it was a Z at the beginning for so long. I thought her... Zish like wish. Yeah. With a Z. This is so fun. It really is fun. It's inspiring. Let's do a double cheers with our okay. Glass of wine. I oh, oh, okay. I thought we're doing double cheers, right? With well, how do you cheers at this? Well, I don't know. We just we just you we just we, well we, we, we do this, which it. is kind of like what you do at a white elephant party. You fight. Oh, for there it. you go. 
Yeah, so we're cheering. Friendly fight we're as fighting. Friendly, friendly fighting. Yeah. Because okay. that's what we do. Well, let's do it. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy. Enjoy. We'll see you soon. Merry Christmas.